In education, we often hear the words assessment and feedback, that we need to assess our students and provide feedback. But what does that really mean? Assessment is how the teacher determines the depth of knowledge that a student has. This means that a teacher can look at a student and see if they understand the material. Assessment can be formal and informal, meaning that a teacher can provide a worksheet or a test to formally assess what knowledge the student has, or there can be informal assessment, which is through questions and answers. Feedback is how the teacher responds to help the student develop deeper knowledge. Imagine for a moment a student that is drawing a picture. When they draw with their eyes closed, they're unable to put things together and may produce a result like this. But when they're able to see where they're making mistakes, they're able to correct uh, misconceptions, they're able to change their picture. Or imagine directions. You receive the directions to turn right on a given street and left on the second street and left on, on your third street that you hit. If you follow these directions and make a misstep, you won't know until the end. However, given a GPS, if you make a wrong turn, it will reroute and put you on the correct path. That's how feedback is for teachers. Imagine a student solving the problem 4x plus 2y equals 3. The student has heard that they need to move the 2y over, and so they add it to both sides, thinking that the 2y plus 2y will cancel out which produces them with 4x equals 3 plus 2y. Without feedback, even if the student is assessed on this information and gets it wrong, they will continue to do it. But given proper feedback, the teacher can explain that they need to subtract the 2y in order for it to cancel out. And the student can learn and change so that in a future assessment, they're able to produce the correct answer 4x equals 3 minus 2y. So let's ask ourselves again, what is assessment and feedback? Assessment is how the teacher determines the depth of knowledge that a student has, whether informal or formal. There are two types of assessment, formative and summative. Formative is throughout the semester or throughout the given time period, and summative is the final assessment at the end where a student does not have the opportunity to correct their mistakes. Feedback is how the teacher responds to help the student develop deeper knowledge. The goal is that we properly assess the students formatively so that we can provide feedback. That way the student can perform well on summative assessments. To sum it all up, feedback is the response to assessment. Without feedback, the student is not responsible for their assessment. We have to guide them and help them to get the correct answer, to get to the correct place, or else they'll keep going down the same path in their assessment.